Hello everyone and welcome to the article An Overview of the Evolution of Civil Engineering Education Towards Sustainability in Portugal. So in this article in this presentation we'll be talking we're making a small introduction. We'll be talking about the, the sustainable development goals in education. We also will be talking about the state of the art of civil engineering, sustainability and education in uh, our in Portuguese education, and we'll be later uh, talking about our conclusions and findings on this article. So, in uh, our education program, we have elementary school and high school, and later we have the higher education uh, polytechnics and universities that uh, make this offer. So, according to the program of civil engineering, that is there we have in uh, our higher uh, institutes, we have the polytechnics and universities uh, that can uh, offer uh, and uh, offer uh, available programs to the students and the future professionals of this area. About the introduction, the importance of the civil engineering sector in society, we can uh, say that they are responsible for the structural integrity of key infrastructures. They also is very important because they are related to five to ten percent of employment, and also they are responsible to five to fifteen percent of the GDP of the country. Also, they provide specialists involved in housing, mobility, and other specialties that are related to the fabric of the society. Also, the built environment accounts for a large share of energy. Also, the greenhouse gases emissions, wastes, and other natural resources. So, according to the Sustainable Development Goals, our is focused on number four, the quality of education, and according by the UN, the 4.7 points, uh, that says that by 2030, uh, they, we need to be a, a lot different than we are today. We have to be sure that our education stands for sustainable development and sustainable lifestyles, also human rights, and uh, equality for all people and gender and uh, global citizenship and appreciation of culture are valuable. So also, according to the UN, uh, we have the three pillars of sustainable development that are society, environment, and economy. And according to our uh, education program, we have, uh, according to the civil engineering specialty, we have 19 bachelor's degree, 14 master's program, a sixth integrated Masters. They are uh, that uh, can comprehend the bachelor's degree plus the master's degree. So, according to our findings in regarding the bachelor's degree, it's possible to verify that uh, uh, there are very types of offer in the, the different polytechnics and university, but there are few or no themes related to sustainability and the environment. So, it's a little bit worrying uh, when we say that uh, regarding. The available of sustainability, uh, it's a, a lot of way uh, away from the the point and the objective of uh, the UN. Regarding the the master's degree and integrated matters, it is possible to register that uh, regarding uh, the master's degree uh, is a little bit different. So uh, in almost all study plans, there are at least one course associated with sustainable development goals and also the environment or economy. And also the, the, the three pillars are combined. So in our conclusions, you can say that regarding the bachelor's degree, there is a large gap in the reduction of the themes and disciplines re related to sustainability. And also conclude that some universities and polytechnic institutes have strong study plans with focus on sustainability. Also, there are some institutes, uh, and that is a thought of mine and of ours. Uh, there are some institutions that can strengthen their educational offer in sustainability and uh, they, they can do a lot better. So, uh, we, are constantly, we can also say that uh, the future professionals, they don't only have bachelor's degree, uh, our orders, professional orders, they allow it to, uh, to make their profession and they can work in the area. So, uh, these kind of professionals will not have to receive appropriate education in a sustainability approach and there may be gaps in the identification of potential opportunities so uh, the application of uh, sustainable methods and uh, also the goals may not be the, the best so our universities can and may and have uh, to uh, see a different way in, uh, in uh, strong their offer thank you for your attention